Eleanor. I love the chase till the minute I win it. A beautiful face till there's love for me in it. Give me your heart and maybe I'll build it. Cause I always kill the things I love. Someday we'll. What we love today will lose tomorrow. Thanks, Tusker and Aladrix. Oh, yeah, that guy told me to yell. Hey, I am playing LA Noir now. Hey. LA Noir now. Hey, hey. I am playing LA Noir now. Hey. Buy some food. When we left today, we'll lose tomorrow. I think I could do a really good cover of Fergie singing the national anthem. Hear me out. How oh, can you see by the dawn? Twilight. Earl Phelps, a shooting at the 111 Club, <gasps> 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. What? Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. What? Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. What? We already cleared that up. What? The judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. What? He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. What? Appears. We didn't get all of it. What? That's crazy, dude. That bum took a swipe at me. I put him down with my sack. God damn it. I, can't see I it. put him There's down with my sack? Sleep. What does that mean? His ball sack? A dead judge. It's not good. Everyone has their vices. Even you, Phelps. He smacked him with his ball sack? Wow, talent drink. I got the jitters again. Would we love to die? We'll lose tomorrow. The thing was, he's a real nice guy. A lousy call. Hey, can you give me a hand? I got a hard case I need to break. You can drive. What case? It says manifest destiny on advice. Get in the fucking car, Earl. Parker and Green are going toe-to-toe -to -toe for the top job. There's a change in the wind. About time. This wind will be like a tornado, Phelps. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. Thanks, Zula. And not now, Nico. Why do people like speaking in metaphors? That's what I'm saying. That shit is confusing as fuck. What do you mean, don't look a gift horse in the mouth? Does he find it rude? <laughs> Homicide guys are already inside. Bukowski. Phelps. Back again. Bukowski. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick, 26, former Marine. <gasps> I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. What's a non-com? Waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? 
Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. Wait, he... Get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer... He recently wrote, came into some money. Lamont and Tyree. That guy probably was involved in Mets stealing the, the morphine now, off no of the piece. ship. <laughs> you mind if we take a look around? That's probably guest? how he... You might want a word with the hostess, the money. too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. Dun, dun. When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try again. How bad is it? Come on, you can tell me. Circumstantial. He didn't say anything. I don't get going to bars. I guess because I don't drink. I always try to- I, I try to like guzzle alcohol just so I could go- Oh my god, there's a dead body here? I try to guzzle alcohol just so I could just let loose with everybody else. But... It's the pump that does it just tastes so disgusting. Certainly sends a message. Oh, I guess I'm not here to investigate murder. Another day, another dollar. Alcohol definitely makes me say shit that I wouldn't normally say because... But it makes me say shit that I would think but not say. But then drinking makes me say the shit that I was thinking. So it helps. Because a lot of times... When I'm in a conversation in, with somebody, I'm like, here is all the different dialogue options I could choose. And then uh, the fourth option is nothing, because I'm too lazy to say the first three. So I just don't say anything. I also don't find awkward silences awkward, so if someone comes up to me and tries to make small talk and I'm bored of the conversation, I will literally just be like... Detective. Because it can be lose track. Oh yeah, did you know people died drinking? I forgot what drink it was. <laughs> they had to reformulate it because of the caffeine that was mixed in it. People didn't realize how drunk they were. What was the brand? Four loco? Oh yeah, four. Was it four loco? Yeah, it literally killed people. What's that click? <gasps> Things weird. Maybe there's a combination. Ah! That was trick. loud. The case must have cost more than the trumpet. The blue room. We should follow up on the musician angle. Oh, we're gonna go meet Elsa. You catch all the good ones. He kept his stash close at hand. Why don't you hire shit in a case like that if it opens that easily? Probably because you don't expect to be killed. If you're alive, and someone goes rummaging through your case, you probably won't let them look through it. You're dead, you're dead, whatever.
Army surplus again. McGoldrick must have been moving contraband through the club. Cigarettes? But it's not cigarettes, that's morphine. A dozen packs to a carton. A hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months supply. Oh, it's cigarettes? Oh, okay. The fuck? Why is this a clue? These look brand new. Never fired. Bars? It hasn't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. Is this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. Why is this a clue? They're BARs. You get the oh. odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get oh. three of them? Because he stole the shipment that contained the original supply of morphine. Army surplus morphine, morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. I fucking knew it! I didn't even look at this guy's dead body. Literally stolen valor. Bad luck, Eddie. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city... Bye bye. Hey, what's in the safe? They didn't even try to crack the safe. What? I want to see. I can't wait to see Elsa. It might be after this mission. Can you drive to this one? All right. Where to? I love the chat. Wait. Oh, no! No! I didn't talk to the lady. There she is. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, Administrative Vice Squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Okay. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes. Just it's like your day others. off? You, you're literally dressed for work. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you? This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day massacre. It's probably the, the, the Giga Mob guy. Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. I believe her. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need. No. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Eddie was in over his head. But he was a decent boss. Find anything interesting? Well, this day was a total waste of makeup. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Get the facts first. Everyone has a fedora here? Yeah, because everybody is a neck beard. Thanks, kimchi noodle soup and wow burgers. I had a giga bowl of meat and cheese earlier. And then I immediately had diarrhea after. Impressed. What's going on? That fucking rat stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who the fuck is Brenda? Brenda? Brenda is LA's most famous madam. Everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Ors have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. 
So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Dude. You Aren't you Phelps supposed to be working uh, Sir, do you know which robbery detectives Phelps the Army agrees prostitution should be legal. Caldwell and McManus. McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do He's that. ahead of his time, I'm telling you. This way. Hey, can you give me a hand? I got a hard case I need to break. Most progressive man in the 50s. Yeah, he doesn't beat his wife. You got a minute? Ben Ridge sure puts him anytime. pretty far You've been working there. the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? Case of BARs, case of Thompsons, crate of Valor smokes. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kid. Oh, they are cigarettes. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. I thought they put morphine in the cigarettes, but they actually are cigarettes. So, how do we connect the docks robbery to the mess at the 111 Club? I want to make homicide. You know you made it if you can get that desk. This is the crate we recovered. Oops. Half a million cigarettes loose on the streets of LA. That's crazy. BAR is right here. Here's our backroom arsenal from the 111 Club. Enough to arm three companies. 400 oh, these guys are from Tommies? My they must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon. McGoldrick. McGoldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. McGoldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over Kelso the bar. Kelso and Looks like whoever Sheldon. stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the Cohen. hub. Cohen! Thanks, Harry. Stay in touch on this. They're on the case. Okay. I'm on the case. That bum took a swipe I'm on the case. Put him down in my sap. I'm on the case. I'm on the case. I'm on the case. I'm on the case. Is this the paparazzi still? How well did you know the owner? Goldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. Young guys trying to adjust to normal life, getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled him full of holes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off. How did they do that? You're driving right at them. How did they do that? <laughs> Way to set Holy an example shit. for the they public, have... partner. Reporters have eye frames. Nice move. You know the way. You can drive. Where are we going? Hmm. I need to eat my finger skin. Nom, 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 nom. The blue room, his favorite. Oh! Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lickman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Ooh. Good point. We don't. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. 
And this is your idea of making enquiries, understand Führer? What does that mean? I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink while I see to this? What's an urban strum poo per burr burr? Will you sit down? Phelps is so excited, he finally has a reason to talk to her. Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. She's only 30? Oh, she's a German exile. She looks 50. People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. What? Hopheads appear to get a free pass at this club. You all know about the morphine. And how do you expect to prove that? Oh, I can't. Wait. I can't prove it. Can I? Nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that. But what if that guy just... Okay, it's doubt. You can do this the easy no, way with me, it. or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Black man don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies, black man buys. He's spitting. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. Wrong. I don't believe you. You knew Now I use the ticket. And how would you like to prove that, detective? Because they were mus musicians. You're out what? Your steps here, detective. Doesn't You're that mean the they play? Of the wrong people. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private. I thought it meant she officer. would know them because they play with her. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the law. My God, job Feltis is to prosecute <laughs> the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words. And very noble. But... Words are just words, Cole Phelps. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen? Damn. Do you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. What are you doing, Phelps? Ten thirty four PM. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just doing what he's thinking. With the car. El Riz, dude. I'm, I'm the Riz Lord. He really sat out here for seven hours to wait for her to get off work. These people. What a fucking psycho. Again, again. He's doing it for the mission, guys. He's, he's he's trying to find out where she gets her morphine. Oh, shit. No! Oh, I fucking. 
and press the wrong button. I thought I would default on yes. One more time. Again, again! Dun, dun. There we go. I hate tailing missions unless you can kill people. Just my five cents. If you fail it enough times, you can skip the tailing. Quick, find out where she keeps her underwear. It's case related. That's not locked? He was following us, following her. Oh, God. LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three, if you'll follow me. That's in. Ooh, that's an great. insane Rico. Maybe he introduced them because he wanted Cole to fall in love with her. Sirs, and then Mr. specifically Cohen's requested him to one. be his partner on advice so that he could blackmail him is. into keeping the uh, status quo with the drug kingpins. LAPD, we have some questions. Hi, regarding... Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine. Just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps, Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Me, Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. <laughs> Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much you think fun I'm funny? Get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a Do service man you? too, Cole. Johnny was at clown? Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Or are you going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? <laughs> Why are they so funny? Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. Really? Okay. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment. Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit, and I don't condone it. The heroin? The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine. Kid, ask a the question H. you might get an answer to. This guy's only three years older than Elsa. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. Doubt. 
So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of Wait, opportunity, how old is Cole? Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. Huh? It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life. Fifteen? Quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never Roy, can you fucking stop? But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for schmendricks like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. Hold on. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright that easy. We'll see. I forgot what I was gonna say. Detectives, KGPL's going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want every car. Oh yeah, no. like a 30-year-old th back then is like... Poor little twist. 50-year-old. Oh no, you guys said Cole's 15 right now. So what, he was 10 years old? Leading the infantry in the war, World War II? Are you crazy? You drive. <laughs> You're behind the wheel. <laughs> I thought I could make the turn. All units, officers need help at 1384 North Bronson. 1384 North Bronson, <laughs> shots fired. Any units to handle, identify. Code three. It's code three. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. If you could hold a gun, you could join the war. Some guy broke his arm with a hammer so he wouldn't have to be conscripted. What's this guy doing? How does he have such good range or aim? What is his head made out of? Fucking titanium? Dude, it's like DM people in DM can go for it. Latest chrome dome model. I killed him. Slash me, TP's behind him. Sniper? They had sniper rifles back then? Yo, what's his head made out of? And he's furrowing his eyebrows even in death. that mean phone number and restaurant table how long is this game yeah wait oh it's a bar it's one of the bars 
But there's no sniper on it. It's not a sniper? Then why do they they call him it? He's one of the guys from the ship. His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. What you doing? Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? It's my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. You what happened is that someone though. took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Did you steal Not much. it? Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. Doubt. I don't believe you, Felix. I've got gunmen blasting away at Oh, someone's trying citizens. to kill everybody that this was involved in stealing hand. it. Is there something you want to tell me? I don't appreciate you calling me a liar, detective. You want to prove that I was involved? I don't have proof that he was involved. Sorry. My mistake. Doubt. I was down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything the about bar. that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. Ooh. It's a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. So he, I, I think he also stole stuff. Who's shooting at you, Felix? They know. How the fuck do I know? Cohen, doubt. Felix, we didn't oh, go through Okinawa why? He does and come know? back to this on our streets. I've got the LAPD to oh, keep me so safe, dead. right? I thought he would know. All my people. Dude, even I know. <laughs> we'll be in touch. And I don't even know you what he knows. Jack is in LA? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. I'm sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, Detective. Do I ever pick anything else but Pretty doubt? Cool no. Customer. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. Is somebody gonna tell us what the hell is going on? Out. What? What is a light skin stare? And why is it light skin? Why is it a stare of light skin? Phelps, one, two, four, seven. It's dangerous. How can I help, detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Jack Kelso. Apartment 4, what? 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thanks for your help. I'm going to look up on Urban Dictionary. UrbanDictionary.com Light skin stare. When someone looks at you in a zesty, flirtatious way. <laughs> what? What? Really? Zesty? His name's Benjamina Shepardo in Permatire. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Do we know where we're going? A zesty stare? Oh, hell! You need to see a picture, understand? Jack um, was a company sergeant. He would never is get involved the, in something There's like no this. such thing as a coincidence. We brace him and drag him guy. downtown. Is, is that a light skin stare? It work. He's a tough customer. <laughs> the no such thing as a coincidence guy. No. <laughs> That's a life in danger stare. <laughs> Oh yeah, he vaporized a woman running, running next to him. Ah! Hello, Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. 
They should kiss. Like to come inside. Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. Well, I'm a cop. What game is this about? Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. I used to think drop top drop con convertible cars were all really rich cars. Then I found out you can buy one for like 20k. Thanks, Marvin. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in LA trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. I know that's a lie because I saw him in the cutscene. Doubt. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, <laughs> boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. No. You better watch your no. mouth. Because I thought all crop top cars were like, like at least six figure. Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Doubt. Oh, he did it. He actually did didn't know. Where he got hold of well, I thought he would know. Not really. He did. He just doesn't care. He's a Sigma. He's Sigma. He didn't care. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. Doubt. What? He doesn't know, know that either? Three of them. The goddamn fool. He doesn't know anything. <laughs> what do you know about the army? He only knows what Courtney Sheldon check. told him. What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. Doubt. People are dying. Okay, he knows about the, the, the morphine robbery. Not that they now stole other stuff. Now we unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, we just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. Is that a lot? Tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. What's my cheap suit? No, two hundred dollars is like Steiner, twenty thousand dollars suit now. Victim is a Chris Majowski. Another name from the manifest. Oh, that's why they're calling it Manifest Destiny because it's their fate to be killed. How many more friends of yours are gonna get plugged? Today? It's their destiny. <laughs> Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. That's true. He's a giga chad. Back then, college... Back then, a house was like... 12... K. They just walked up and shot the man. What? Two of them officers, they went that way. Go on, get after him. What? Oh my god, I thought that was. I can't hit a target or that isn't there, fell. Hit him! Clear this asshole off the road! How are you fucking hitting? I can't take the shot from here, Cole! Stop being a pussy! Getting close! Steer him off the tar! Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires! 
Dude, I should be able to drive an Andrew at the same time. I would fucking clear this bonobo. I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. I would have cleaned this bonobo off the street. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. They're leaving! doing he has a vandal he did slash me teleports behind you <laughs> you fell for my master plan <laughs> me stuck thrifty i don't think he's gonna have any secret gwent cards in his mouth but we could check his balls No. That means Jack Kelso is going to be next. File. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. Among Us? We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. Also a bar. Damn, I miss something. No! Oh, yes! Cohen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. Oh, you're gonna meet Sheldon? We have to look at damage limitation. Who's this? We can't allow that strumpet Brenda Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can't someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken All care of. All this drama over one... Mayor? District Attorney? Who is this guy? And what does he want, Coral? The name's Roy Earl. Detective. Administrative What does he have advice. to do with this? Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop, a hero from the war, who has let his beautiful wife and kids down, who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore, who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD and his commitment to the public we all serve. Could be all over the papers by tomorrow, and you would be off the hook. So, what do you want in return, Roy? Fingered Damn, he fingered off. Phelps. What does he want? Dun dun! Cole, you just watched that flashback! Cole! The flashback, Cole! <laughs> oh. I fell. Oh. Am I done here? I think I'm done. Idiot. Dun dun. You can he drive. just had to not think Fine. with his Where dick. Where are we headed? That's literally all he had to do. Is just don't think with your dick. Never think with your ship. dick. Why? 
Ladies, don't think How that they're quick. How does I get quit. them the dope? They obviously don't know who has the morphine, and they're waiting for someone to crack. I mean, Elsa is very charismatic. How would you not fall in love with her? Uh oh. Wow. These guys, are a lot, these guys are a lot better than the bus driver guy. Get in close and steer him off the tar. What the fuck? I wish no I could good. We need to get closer. I wish I could shoot. Hit it. Clear this asshole off the road. Hitting them doesn't even do anything. It's all scripted Let's crashes. see how fast he runs on bare rims. Never mind. Okay, we're good. That guy just has neck pain. Yo, where are all these guys getting chrome domes from? I want one. No! Chrome dome warranty expired. You hear about the woman that stabbed her husband and pushed in front of the car? Can you drive to this one? Do we know where we're going? No. Take your time. <laughs> Take your time, Roy. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Don't laugh. <laughs> Would you take never laugh ever again for the rest of your life or never come ever again? What? Never laugh ever again or never come ever again. Fuck, I forgot to dismiss. And then Wait, he's alive? Tell Courtney bad, bad luck. <coughs> it was worth a try. It was worth a try. 
Is he dead? God. He's dead. Polar Bear Ice Company. They really did it. Wonder whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? Um, can some, can, some people can probably squeeze tonsil stones without their hands, huh? Yeah, so imagine you're making out with someone and then they pop a tonsil stone in your mouth. They weren't even his friends. You're like, and what's this chewy confess. little fruit? Free food. Forbidden rock candy. Looks like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. Don't want to know what I dream of. Well, I had a, I had a jump scare. Beckett, Goldrick, Driscoll. These are good guys. Why did they get wrapped up in this thing? Not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole. Yeah, I, there's- I had a sleep paralysis demon in a dream within a dream. I already checked him. And the first two shadows were some ghost thingy, and then the third one was Eon. Anybody to talk to? Coroner says it's gonna take at least a week to get an ID. A week? I think we're good. Why would you not let me leave? Through there. Coroner says it's gonna take at least a week. Coroner says you're going to be over. You're behind the wheel. All right, where to? All right. When do we love the chase? This isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't hey, mean shit out here. See, the there was like a ripoff Nintendogs game and then you pet the dogs and they're English, they speak English. They're like, oh yeah, that feels so good. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Scratch right there. <laughs> and they moaned, yeah. There's only one time right. I dreamt that Let's Billy, <laughs> Billy, that young said something. We were sitting on the couch watching TV and looks at me, stares at me in the face, and just says, Billy. Keep moving, I'll cover you. These guys are one-shot because they're not wearing a hat. On the roof, Cole, nail them. My hat! You ho! Give me some goddamn cover. Where's my crosshair? Where's this bonobo? Stay in cover! No! Clear me some space here! Okay. Billy. That guy's got a common sense. Get it up! Really using a 
long range frenzy with first bullet. I'm gonna put out an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that. APB on the car 11 K, car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. 11 K, go to Hollywood Station. Hey, Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol, 11 K. I'll take that as a Roger. <laughs> That's King not correct me. protocol. How can I help, Detective? You can drive. Phelps badge one, Where are we two, going? four, seven. Requesting dispatch. Yeah. <laughs> Roy. Oh, In my office, that? if you please. In a while. I'm working a major case. I'm that close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But Cap, no buts. This is more important. Uh oh, it's about the snitch. Uh oh. <laughs> You're an interview to still confess. Sheldon, is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Cool Ridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You're you next. can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. There's two dudes. Can I blame it on him? Oh, yeah, I can. You're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to I have the note. like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? Wait, do I have an intuition? Sorry. Sometimes yeah, they're in the war together. The see what falls out. Fuck! What did he say? The other guys aren't smart enough. Give it up, or I go after Jack. Well, I think he's connected because... Tell Courtney bad luck. That's Jack a raw scared. one. I'm I'm confused. None of us were. We just followed. I'm confused. Orders. I thought that was connected. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes, that's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. That's a lie. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? Um, try it again. Maybe they mean this time. Beckett had a message oh, yeah, for you here. Okay, I used it in the wrong... Bad luck. It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve mm. more. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Have you finished, detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. But it's already on the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor! Good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. Uh-oh. You 
certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. No! You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on here? You're suspended, Phelps. Over your cheating? Badge Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures. She's pressing I charges. guess it was a ger German girl right after World War II. A criminal II. cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife, your children, consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. Wait, you're it's illegal to over. have you sex with German shot. people? The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun, keep your head down until you're bored hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? Adultery is a crime? So when did they legalize it? Ne Wait, so if someone cheats on you, you can send them to jail? Marie, listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave, you're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie, they're my daughters. Wow, that's his wife? Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Holy. Do you want me to call he the police? Cheated on I that? Say, Marie, can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? God damn. Well, do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney and you will be hearing from him. What a fucking like dumbass. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What, what is there to explain? Been going through? I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. Lie. <laughs> Pull out the notebook. Oh. He doesn't even have his gun. What was he gonna do? Fucking shoot the reporter? He doesn't even have it. No, he just had a sword titty. Oh my! Cold stop! <laughs> Call no. <laughs> Do they not talk to each other? I mean, oh my god, this is probably my worst case so far. Getting a marine like Felix to not to rat on his buddies would have required subtle questioning and solid evidence. Demoted arson desk. I'm kinda tired. Ah! Okay, here's the plan.